zebra mussels are really the poster child of invasive species, and they can cause uh, real problems for both people and for the ecosystems that they invade. The invasive aquatic species known as zebra mussels have made their way into bodies of water like Lake Winnipeg. They've become so prolific that Manitoba Hydro is now spending millions of dollars to control them in an effort to prevent them from going into other rivers and lakes. Matthew Bannerman says zebra mussels were detected in Manitoba's Nelson River three years ago. Manitoba Hydro has had to implement additional measures to combat these invasive species as they have been clinging on to some of their generating stations. The last couple of years we've, been, we've had to chemically treat uh, some of our generating cooling assets uh, and our fire protection systems to prevent impacts. The treatment program is costing Manitoba Hydro north of $2 million annually. Bannerman says there is a constant worry that the zebra mussels will spread to other lakes and rivers, which will impact or even damage hydro infrastructure. We are keeping an eye out to, on the water bodies where we have our operations based on it. Zebra mussels are not native to Manitoba or North America. They were brought over to the Great Lakes in ballast water of ocean going freighters from Eastern Europe. Zebra mussels attach themselves to solid surfaces, aquatic vegetation, or to each other. Research scientist Scott Higgins says zebra mussels filter algae out of the water, which isn't a problem in the short term, but becomes an issue when the number of zebra mussels becomes very high. They can filter an enormous amount of water and plankton out of the water, and that's the base of the food web. So then the problems can cascade up to these higher trophic levels, like uh, to all the way to the fish. Pam Jackson, the mayor of Winnipeg Beach, located about 70 kilometers north of Winnipeg, says zebra mussels have riddled their beaches for several years. She says the zebra mussels will have a lasting negative impact on the fishing industry. The fishing industry is pretty big on Lake Winnipeg, uh, both here as well as um, north up, Gim up Gimli Way and, and north of Gimli. The fishing industry is very big. That's where we get all our fresh pickerel from. Invasive species specialist Candace Park says combating these pests long term will not be a walk on the beach. Sharp shells on the beach, um, on shorelines, and this will be a continual issue because of... Um, wind movement will just move them back onto the beach so it's not like you clean up one day and then you're done it's going to be an ongoing issue while it's too late for lake winnipeg prevention is possible you just have to make sure that you really clean your boats or whatever infrastructure that you're moving out of those systems into other systems they need to be decontaminated before they're moved in winnipeg alex carpa city news